Yes, hello and welcome to another vlog from Ben Ryder. Today we're testing out the Yamaha D-Lite 125 uh, scooter. It is a fairly small scooter, basically only for the city to be honest, because I've been on the highway already and it's not really that stable. Uh, it has 6.2 kilowatts at 6,750 RPM. That's about, I think, around about 8.4 horsepower. Then we have 9.8 newton meter torque at 5,250 RPM. Uh, what else do we have? We have a, a fuel consumption of 1.9 liters per 100, so that is pretty cool and pretty good. Um, we have a telescopic fork in the front. We have a 180 disc in the front. Um, we have actually it does not look that it has ABS, to be honest, because it does not have the ABS ring. I have to ask, this, yeah, this might not have ABS. I will put that in the video. I'm sorry that I don't know this, uh, but I've just been on the Yamaha NMAX and everything there was fine and pretty. Okay, it's 500 euro more expensive, but apparently this does not have ABS. I'm surprised. Um, let's continue. In the rear, we have a drum brake of uh, 100, what is it, 152 millimeters in the rear, a drum brake, and the tire in the front is a 90, 12 inch, and in the rear it's a 100 and a 10 inch, so very small, and as I said, kind of not quite stable at higher speeds. Um, we have a seat height of 800 millimeters, um, for me, it's still okay. I'm 175. I can reach the ground. Everything is fine. Um, we have a fuel uh, tank of 5.5 liters. And yeah, it has a center stand, has a side stand. Basically, that's all there is to it. Uh, uh, from, from the lights, yeah, it does not have LED lights. Maybe the uh, in the front there might be some... Uh, some uh, LEDs, but uh, basically uh, all of the lights are not LED. And uh, let's get to the controls and to the display and to the storage space. So on the left hand side we have the high beam, low beam switch. We have the blinker switch, which is not really, uh, not really motorcycle standard here. It's kind of feels kind of cheapish and uh, yeah, cheap. Uh, then we have the horn. <coughs> On the right hand side we have the start stop which is new for this year the Hon uh, the yamaha delight has a start stop switch and a uh, ignition switch and of course the gas throttle and we have two brakes left and rear or no left and right and front and rear the other uh, the ignition switch here is uh, yeah you can turn on the ignition you can uh, open the seat, you can open the fuel cap, uh, which is here, you have to move it, then you can open the fuel, 
and you can open the seat. I will show you the seat. There's no cubby holes in the front here, unfortunately. Absolutely none. There's a little coat hanger here. Uh, seat we have here. The seat feels nice and sturdy, actually. The uh, It seems fairly big, uh, the storage space, uh, but it's not that deep. So I'm not sure about the full-sized helmet. Definitely two um, jet helmets will fit in there. I'm pretty sure about this. This uh, top case is extra. It does is not included in the price here of the 2,949 euro on the road, which it costs here in Spain. So let's go to the display. So let's turn on the scooter. And in the display and the, the control lights, we have like uh, engine warning light and high beam, low beam um, uh, and stuff like that. And the... Um, uh, the start stop switch here, we have the odometer, uh, we have uh, in the teeny tiny display down there, we have the clock, we have a clock, we have the fuel capacity, uh, and we have the odometer, we have a trip, and we we can see when the oil change was, and that was that's it, you can reset it with the other button, uh, that's about it. So uh, I will do the... Um, I will do a sound check now and a 0 to 100 coming up. Uh, we will also go back to the dealer now. I will put on my GoPro and I will tell you a little bit how it rides and everything. Okay, so we will go back to the dealer now with the Yamaha D Lite 125, um, and I will explain a little bit of the how it rides and how it handles and stuff like that. So let's turn it on. Very quiet, and let's go back to the dealer now. When you get on the bike, when you get on the scooter, it feels very cramped. The seating position definitely is a toilet position. You cannot stretch your, you cannot really stretch your legs or your feet. And your, also I'm 175. Also you can feel, you know, the kind of mini teeny tiny lumbar support or whatever you want to call it in the rear. So you cannot move that. Okay, you can go to the rear, to the other, to the passenger seat, but you cannot, cannot really move that much around. Here in the mountains, going these curves, everything is fine. When you get on the highway, it's a little bit different story because of the small tires or small wheels. Also, it's very windy today, so it might be very unstable. I kind of noticed that already. Uh, I didn't know that the Yamaha D-Lite apparently does not have ABS. I didn't see uh, any of these ABS rings in the front. So I'm, I'm really surprised. I have got a fly in my helmet here. Uh, I'm really surprised that it does not have ABS. I thought it was basically standard. But no, maybe it's not standard. So, let's go back to the dealer. It's very nimble, it's very agile, it, you can move it around quickly, but that's also the disadvantage when you go at higher speeds, because it gets very unstable. The only difference, uh, I think I explained that to you already in the 2021 model, uh, I think they changed a bit in the display. 
they also added the start stop system which is really nice for the city you know since you'll be using it most of the time in the city of course which I don't like if that is true it's which uh, if it doesn't have ABS I would nowadays I would not buy a scooter or a motorcycle without ABS anymore but uh, you know as long as it's summer if you're in the city somewhere in the city and you don't go by rain or anything I don't think that that is really a big problem So let's see if we can do the 0 to 100 test here, if we can actually get up to 100 uh, in the amount of time and distance we have there. Let's see. Go. reaching really 100 <laughs> okay um, we cannot really do a 100 test I think I will put it in the video but uh, yeah anyways it, we're actually going downhill now so it's kind of surprising that we cannot really reach 100 anyways uh, so much for that about the um, wind protection yeah there's no wind protection here um, the other thing is, as I said before, okay, today is a little bit windy again, but uh, what I said before is that at higher speeds, above 80 or so, <clears throat> it gets really unstable, because, maybe because of the teeny tiny tire in the front, and, uh, you know, you can move it around like this, and it wobbles like crazy, and that doesn't really give you much confidence, and that it's, you know, still safe to ride at this speed and so this is what I find not very as a positive point here <coughs> if I might <coughs> also add as I said if that is actually true if it doesn't have ABS so that's not really good it doesn't have a disc brake in the rear not really good okay I'm going maximum speed we're going up a hill here but this is the worst performance or the worst performer I've ever had here. We're going up with 70, 72, 73 up this little hill. It's not really a big hill. So yeah, you cannot expect any any miracles from this uh, scooter uh, in regards to power, power output. <coughs> In the city you don't really notice that, you know, you go like a regular 125 scooter but here on the, uh, in the mountains, on the highway, you notice it and I said before, this is not really made for the highway and uh, you can feel that, you can see, you know, if I go like this, uh, if I do this on the NMAX or so, I don't feel anything, I already feel in my, in my arms that it shakes around and wants to wobble I don't I, well, that's not a good sign I think anyways just purely made for the city uh, let's talk about the seat once again yeah it's fairly hard uh, I'm 175 so if you are smaller you should actually be more comfortable than me if you're bigger you might have a problem um, then the mirrors are okay, they are basically just like any other motorcycle mirrors <coughs> to adjust them, maybe not, not that easy, a little bit different uh, you know, one class below, everything is basically one class below the Amar NMAX and uh, <coughs> yeah, from, from what I see and everything, what I feel, I would also say if that costs actually 500 euro less on the road 
it would be a much better deal you know with all the stuff that it has and that it does not have this price is too expensive for what it actually has and what it does so I'm sorry to say that and you can see uh, we're going you know with some strong wind it just wobbles like a little crazy maniac I'm sorry to say that guys so definitely not my first choice I would buy if I were in the market for 125 uh, as I said before I was just test riding the NMAX Yamaha yeah, NMAX before and that is a huge difference the difference in price is only 500 euro but you get so much more with the NMAX you get a, get a proper nice sporty scooter which is very nice which, which you can use without any problems on the highway but this thing I would only recommend for people in the city and but but still I would not even recommend it because the price is not really on par for what it does you know and what it actually has and features anyways yeah so there you have it already I'm sorry if you were in the market for a Yamaha Delight I'm sure all the people who have the Yamaha Delight they will get very angry and mad at me now that I kind of trash this thing but that's what it is you know it's not my first bike my first scooter that I test ride I've been on I don't know over a hundred bikes and scooters in the last two years already and this is definitely nothing I would I, I would really consider buying after at least making a test ride if you look at it from the pictures if you say hey I like it I like the looks I like the design yeah go for it but if you do a test ride you might actually notice that it is a totally different feeling of riding it if you are in the if you are familiar with other scooters if you're not maybe you don't even notice it you know but for me for me it feels at higher speeds like you know it was wobbling even at yeah 80 here you know it feels like a little teeny tiny e-scooter you know it's the same thing so no nothing for me I would not really recommend this and if you actually watching my my channel if you have watched my channel before you know I almost recommend all of the bikes and scooters that I test ride because I like everything on two wheels on three wheels but this one I'm sorry I'm really sorry to say I would not recommend I'm sorry anyways uh, yeah since there's nothing else to say really anyways thanks very much for watching this is Ben right out take care bye bye